Alright, what's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another freaking reaction video. In this video, we got We Need Trans Only Bathrooms Now. The system has failed us again. Okay, my opinion on the trans and LGBTQ nonsense, bro. I feel like they do absolutely too much and they misunderstand everything. Well, cuz, like, for example, like, they feel like they don't have enough power or like people shame them or whatever, literally. You can ask, walk up to any random person. Nobody gives a fuck on if you like the same gender or not. If you don't, nobody gives a fuck at all. They just want to be, I guess, the center of attention. They want to be, I don't know, bro. They just, yeah, they just want attention, bro. But honestly, I ain't got nothing against trans people or people that like what they like. Ain't nobody really got a problem with it. They just want to be the center of attention. They want to be the talk every single day. They want to. Force what they got on other people and shit. And nobody really want to hear all that shit, bro. We finna hop a shit into um, it. Hey, Night Talk, if you ever see this video, I DM'd you on Instagram, man, my boy. The homie Amanda sent me this link to the story on the Patreon this morning. And uh, this story has been sitting on me all day. Turn up for y'all. I low-key have been dreading doing a video for this situation, for this story. But I don't know, I don't know what the hell is going to come out of my mouth. <laughs> I do not want to be censored, man, but come on, man. Mm. Let's go. She will come out of my mouth, come out of my mouth. Fuck what y'all talking about. I'm about to tap right in and let the story speak for itself. Man. All right, let's hop into it. Let's hear it. Yeah, Dana, good morning to you. So, LADA George Gascon has taken a lot of heat when it comes to this case. It has to do with a 26 year old transgender child molester who was sentenced to only two years in a juvenile facility because George Gascon just refused to prosecute her as an adult. So, take a look. This is. Refused to prosecute her. What? 26 year old Hannah Tubbs, who was recently convicted of sexually assaulting this is a female a 10 year old girl inside of a Denny's bathroom in LA County back in 2014 now at the time Tubbs first name was James and she was two weeks from her 18th birthday CCTV showed Tubbs going into that Denny's bathroom and then fleeing the scene after the assault but she wasn't connected to that sexual assault until she was arrested for another crime in 20 we still calling he a she a sh what 19 and so basically the trans man which was a woman that went to a man molested a girl in a bathroom years ago and now she's now just being sentenced he slash she but i guess she referred to as a man now so but i'm still call her she so she only gets two years for basically violating that child and running that kid childhood wow computers say she began identifying as female after she was taken into custody and despite having multiple violent crimes on her record already wow. Gascon refused to prosecute Tubbs as an adult and last month a judge sentenced her to serve two years in a juvie facility at age 26 and she also will not have to register as a sex offender now what I've obtained the fuck what so she want to identify as a man her whole life but when it's time when she gets to what the fuck has the world come to bro so i've obtained uh some of tubbs phone calls from law enforcement sources from when she was in custody in la county here in november this was before her sentencing in a phone call with her dad she just gloats that she's not going to serve any prison time and that she won't have to register as a sex offender take a listen don't worry about it it's a strike but they're going to plead i'm going to plead out to it. i'm going to plead guilty they're going to stick me on probation and it's gonna be dropped. It's gonna be done. Done. I won't have to register once or nothing. For an uh, offender, you don't have to register. I won't have to do none of that. So what are they gonna do to you then? Nothing. Wow. Now in those calls, Tubbs also went on to make some extremely crude, disparaging remarks about her 10-year-old victim, openly disgusting her sexual attraction for her and laughing about it. So crude, we've decided not to air that audio. She also went on to say she would flee the country if she got in trouble again. So. I reached out. So these trans men, that was woman that went to a man. So these females can do whatever the fuck they want in this world, basically, and just get away with it. She slash he ruined a little girl's childhood, traumatized that little girl, molested that little girl in a Denny's bathroom. 
and she only get two years and she's not registered as a sex offender. What the absolute fuck, bro? Hey, I know Night Talk can't really say much about it because he got a bigger platform than me, but me, I don't give a fuck. That's, that's crazy. To DA George Gascon's office about these phone calls insane, last bro. week. His team told me they didn't even know about the calls until I contacted them. And Gascon has now released a statement which says in part, quote, after Tubbs sentencing in our case, I became aware of extremely troubling statements she made about her case the resolution of it, and the young girl that she harmed. Still. If we knew- And y'all, she, she, she was laughing at the situation. She was laughing at it. Confident that she wasn't gonna get in trouble, and she didn't. Knew about her disregard for the harm she caused, we would have handled this case differently. Shut the and now for the very first time- Y'all may remember when I was referring to Pandora's box being opened. Why would we open Pandora's box? And if you don't know what Pandora's box means, the metaphor, open this damn box to chaos keep this box closed by any means necessary and we're just volunteering to open up pandora's box to to accommodate motherfuckers feelings at the end of the day i mean i ain't got, I ain't get a lot of pushback from it but, but a lot of the pushback i did get from addressing my concerns with all this bullshit going on was you know how is that pandora's box being open what does this have to do with pandora's box being open uh Need I say more? Mic drop. I don't give a damn what the hell y'all say. That's a damn man. That's a damn man. Yes, yeah, that's that's technically a man, bro. That's a motherfucking man. Like this, this is definitely the. She registered as a man. She wants to be called as a man, but she. What the fuck, bro? I don't know. The, the courts are dropping the ball. This motherfucker's about to be allowed to walk the street in two years. Yep. And not have to be registered as a sex offender when. This, this, and they kept calling her a her. That's a fucking man. I don't give a fuck. That's a goddamn man. She, she I, I looks exactly like facts, a man. But I'm going to assume that this person is just taking advantage of this big ass yep. hole we got in this transgender LGBTQ nonsense yep. to satiate his fucking hunger for his pedophilia, man. That ain't no damn man. That ain't no transgender nothing. This motherfucker took advantage of what the hell's going on. Yep. Decided to say he was a goddamn woman to go in the goddamn bathroom and do what he did. To that, to that little that girl, girl, girl. That's fucked up. To that 10 year old little girl. Traumatized that little girl. And this is the time he got caught. What if he's done this more than once, more than twice, more than three times? And he about to walk the street because. Whatever the fuck the damn court system did and not want to try this motherfucker as an adult because he committed the act before his 18th birthday and he's still in custody. He's still in custody, 25, 26 years old. He refused to try this man as an adult. It's like, bro. That's insane. Like, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't blame transgenders on this. This ain't this ain't y'all's fault. Like the motherfuckers out here doing the right thing, living their life, trying to be responsible. But this goes to show you how fucked up the system is, bro. Like, what type of bullshit is that, bro? It'd be contribution to society. And I'd imagine all of y'all would put the same way I'm feeling right now. Which is unfortunate for y'all, man, because for me, for me, the moment, the second. The fucking millisecond we run into a situation like this, I'm not with no inclusiveness, nothing. Fuck that. We got men's, women's, transgenders, bro. It should have been that way from jump. But no, people want to goddamn do all this bullshit when you're putting your goddamn feelings over the facts. And the fact is that this biological man is in the goddamn woman's bathroom and took advantage of the situation to do whatever he did with a 10 year old little girl nothing else to me needs to be said yeah ain't nothing else to be said i don't want to talk about this shit because this shit making me mad bro that's just insane bro make sure y'all like comment subscribe bro hey my fault we couldn't finish the whole video shout out night talk hey night talk if you ever see one of my reaction videos i hit you up in the dms my boy make sure you look at those once you get a chance though if you you know see y'all in the next video make sure y'all like comment subscribe bro this is insane bro this is what the world has come to she traumatized that he slash she well she went to a he so he technically
I don't, bro, I don't fucking know. This shit confusing, bro. What the? 